Alright guys, so today we are again here to prove by induction that n raised to the power 5, maybe it's not that clear, so let me zoom in. We are supposed to prove by induction that n raised to the power 5 minus n is always divisible by n for every n being the part of the set of natural numbers yeah so since we are going to prove this by induction the step one as always is to prove that uh, this term is true for the for the first values yeah so let's try let's say this is uh, let's call this p of n p of um, yeah, which is equal to so let's calculate p of 1 and see if p of 1 is divisible by 5 p of 1 will be 1 raised to the power <laughs> 1 raised to 1 raised to the power 5 minus 1 and this gives us 0 and as you know 0 is divisible by everything so this is not a proof that I like but uh, instead let us calculate p of 4 yeah? or p of 3 I guess no p of yeah, let us calculate p of 2, yeah? So p of 2 would be 2 raised to the power of 5 minus 2, yeah? So, we have 32 minus 2 which is 30 and as you can see 30 is divisible by 5 uh, 30 is divisible by 5 so we can confirm that uh, for the, the first term verify and you 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 can check for whatever value you want yeah for the first term like for the step one so the step two i uh, as you know is to assume the pn is true and the step three we should prove that pn plus one is is also true so the step 3 is asking that question is PS is PN plus 1 true so let's see what we give PN plus 1 PN plus 1 will simply be N plus 1 raised to the power 5 minus n plus n plus 1 so because here we only have one term we will manage to find a way to prove that this term is divisible by uh, by 5 Okay, welcome back guys. Because I don't want to uh, to spend too many times doing these videos, like uh, I don't want uh, this video being too long, uh, I've posted a video to do this triangle which is called the Pascal Triangle. The Pascal Triangle basically helps us to determine the, uh, the coefficient when we develop an expression like this. Yeah? 
So, if you have if you have n plus one uh, raised to the power one, for example, uh, then you will consider the one, two, three, four, five. Then we consider the second line for the, as a coefficient of each term. So basically, the, the triangle starts here. Okay. So if we have, let me let me give a precise example. If we have n plus one all raised to the power one as here, basically the n will have the coefficient of one here, yeah, and then the one will have the coefficient of one. But if we have uh, okay, so here, if we have n plus one raised to the power uh, raised to, to the power two, here the n will have as a coefficient. The first coefficient will be this will be one so it will give us still n oh my gosh it will give us n and then the exponent will be two the exponent remember is decreasing yeah so plus the coefficient is now two yeah so the ex when the exponent was two the exponent of n was 2 the exponent of 1 was 0 so then the exponent of n become 1 and the exponent of 1 become 1 so basically here is normally n times 1 which is still n so and then as the next expression the coefficient is 1 and then the exponent of n now it's zero and the exponent of one is two so normally here is one squared but one squared is one so that is the expression so right now we have we are calculating for n plus one raised to the power of five yeah so n plus one raised to the power of five we should consider this this line here so to develop this uh, okay let us let us simply okay okay no problem let me develop this here so we should have n because the factor coefficient is one raised to the power of five yeah plus the second coefficient is five yeah uh five n the coefficient of n decrease so it becomes four Oh, sorry. It becomes 4, and the coefficient of 1 now becomes 1. But since 1 raised to the power 1 is still 1, uh, we don't care about this. And then the, last co the next coefficient is 10, and then we have n raised to the power, this time 3, as you might have guessed. And then normally it's times 1. Uh, raised to the power 2 but uh, when raised to the power 2 is still 1 so we have n times n raised to the power it decreases again 2 because the second the third coefficient well, okay the next coefficient is 10 and then the remaining coefficient is like the next one is 5 n and then we have one at the end. Normally one raised to the power of five, but nobody cares because it's still one minus, then I add this part, minus n minus one. So basically this is p n plus one. is equal so because this video is taking too long uh, even if I take my precaution pause the video I will make uh, a second video of this so see you